Hi Libra, welcome to your mid-month readings. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. If you would like to have a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. For the month of December, I have a special tarot offer available at the sales price, which is a reading that focuses on next year's cycle. Basically, it's a sneak peek into the energy of 2019 and what that might bring about to you. So if you'd like to know more details about it or any other of my tarot services, just email me. Or if you would like to donate and support my channel, you can also do so by following the PayPal link, which is also down below, and as well my Facebook and Instagram page. So Libra, the nature of your desire, your deep, secret, dark desires are in focus, meaning dark desires, um, some of your compulsion. I feel like some of you, are, you have this very compulsive, addictive type of behavior being displayed some of you have seen a quest of pleasure. Some of you have seen a quest of um, feeling up here some, some insecurities. I feel like some of you um, might be, again, attached to situations, relationships, ways, behavioral ways about you that are not the best and they're actually keeping you from really achieving, you know, that happiness. That lust for happiness is actually what's showing up and or this such a big desire to be um, completely filled up with good things, good love, good food, good sex, good art, all that it's good you want it. But I feel like you are willing to maybe look for those pleasures in wrong ways. In ways that are about the devil. That are about the lower frequency of energies. That are about fear, insecurities, and the use of that energy um, in, a, in a way that it's manipulation. Using people as a means to satisfy your desires, using, you know, tactics, seduction, using uh, substances, using money, whatever it is that some of you are using or tempted to use. It's, um, you know, it's, um, it's a trap. It, but I feel like some of you know that it's a trap. I don't feel like you are, you know, unconscious and completely innocent about what you are tempted to do. I just feel like the temptation for some of you to do something is so intense and so high that it's like, it's like you are, you know, not putting the negative consequences that that can bring the harm, the danger that that can bring. You're not putting that as important or not putting that as important as a factor to stop you because again, the urge, the compulsion to do something is immense. I feel like some of you, this is a very, um, this is a period of time where your sexuality and your desires are, have this hyperactivity and also your fears and the secret callings, secret callings from places in you that maybe you have not had contact so far or lately. Like, Parts of you, you know, your intuition having such power that you're able to energetically communicate and draw into you what you want or what you think you want. There's also that difference. Do you really want something or you, or you just think you want something based on fear or based on compulsion? Again, because desires are either sources of immense power or they are... Um, you know, chains, they enslave us, they make puppets out of us, and we do everything in the name of desire, that it's destructive and harmful, not only to us, but of course to those we are also with. So I just feel like Libras, you just need caution, 
caution in actions that maybe you know are not the best to you and those involved. But I also feel like some of you need to understand what holds you to what and to who. For Libras having a hard time letting go of someone, uh, Libras attached, deeply attached, again, in a sexual form and in an emotional form. I feel like you're very attached to someone and that attachment has, you know, a meaning to it. Has There is knowledge about that. There's information about that that you need to access. But let's say in the right way, you need to dive deep. Libras, you need to dive deep to understand the level of your connections, the level of which you can go to fulfill your heart. You want something from someone or from something to make you happy. But the question with the devil always remains. Are you putting your happiness in the hands of something else or someone? Or are you taking responsibility for that happiness? Are you taking the steps to create this ultimate reality? Are you becoming everything um, you need to be and to become, to be in a state of wholesome, in a state of um, completion for yourself? Or are you projecting and going in your outer sphere? Like you want this person or you want that energy to trigger in you something that by yourself you feel like you don't have. Because deep down with the devil here, it's like you feel you don't have something. Is it value? Is it love? Is it care? Is it money? Is it what? I also feel like some of you need to understand what is happiness for you. What makes you happy? Understand all about that topic. What do you need to make yourself feel happy? Make a list about it. Write down your thoughts about that. Know yourself to change the situation. You need to know yourself uh, deeper, I feel, being that the high priestess is your advice. You need to know yourself. Study not only the situation that appears to be all that matters, but you you in it, the role you're playing in it. I also feel like for some of you, there is indeed, you know, let's say the risk or the possibility for some of you Libras to be involved in secret affairs, in affairs that are somehow shady or going on behind the scenes. There might be some underground, let's say, activity here, hidden activity that deals with um, affairs, sexual encounters, or um, just, you know, having something here that uh, touches your shadows, you know, and you feel like, I feel like some of you Libras don't deal well with this, though. It's like, you might be in denial. It's like, uh, not, not wanting to take into account how serious this can be, how problematic a certain situation can be. And if being you the devil or you the high priestess or both, it could be that you are, you know, in a dynamic, let's say, with someone that is addictive, compulsive, and dangerous because... Um, because of the level of willingness to keep acting and behaving, you know, in the wrong ways, in, in the ways that are based in our shadow selves, exactly, based on fear. So it might be that your personal relationships are taking, you know, are, are taking an energy during this time frame. And as you go into 2019, that call a lot for your discernment and your capacity to detach a little bit so you can see it from a further perspective and really understand if what it is what it is that you're dealing with 
what it is that you are into, who is that person, who are you, and why you are together, or why you're not together, or why you want to repeat addictive, um, I'm sorry, to repeat um, some type of negative behaviors that hurt you. Because I also feel like this, um, for those of you fighting against addiction of any sorts, uh, I feel like this addiction is just going to keep growing stronger if you don't get to that point of deeper understanding of your psychology and of all that encompasses. I feel like some of you, again, are, you don't want to be bothered or you don't want to take that. You don't want to take that seriously. You don't want to take your addictions seriously. You don't want to take anything as serious as it is because you're afraid. I feel like some of you are really afraid to lose something, someone. And because of that fear of loss, you are maybe in the risk of losing something else or parts of you that are also sacred. I feel like some of you need some type of clearing as well. You might be dealing with, you know, people that are somehow obsessive or um, they might also, there are some Libras here that it's not you, but um, you are in it. It's like um, by maybe dealing with people that are compulsive and Neg more in the negative energy right now and that look, don't look at you the right way like people that look at you um I, I don't want to say sexual object but as, as an object to fulfill their obsessions their desires that they see in you so it could be that you are also being somehow the victim of someone else's disturbance here uh, it could be, it could be. There's this disturbance as well, this, um, I don't know, it's just something, um, something that you can't quite, you know, understand completely, I feel, that leads you or is trying to lead you into a path that you're both afraid but very attracted to. I feel like this is a period where you are very attractive and attracted. Um, there's a lot of um, energy available to you to understand, you know, raw experiences, you know, of human behavior. For those of you into studying human behavior and all that leads us to do the, the things that sometimes we are capable of doing. This can be a very interesting period to study those matters and to study you and those attributes of you that you see as wrong or that you see as you hide. Or simply, if you are in a situation where you are, you know, having an affair or, you know, doing something you shouldn't be doing to someone, or if you're allowing a situation to happen with someone based in the wrong reasons, per se, Understand that. Understand why you are in it. Why you can't believe. Why you are so hooked into that energy. Because I feel like the more you dwell into it, the deeper the knowledge and the deeper the notion of what you really want to manifest. Because some of you are manifesting in mid-December your own uh, undoing. It's like you are going to bring about something. Some of you are going to bring about something into your lives that is the creation of your um you know unconscious urges like maybe you have kept asking for something and now you're going to get it and you don't understand the level that that can take because maybe you were asking for something without fully proper pro properly analyzing why why were you asking for it are you sure you want this this person that situation that way and now that you're going to get it, I feel like there's this tremble energy. Do I really want this? Oh my God, this looks darker than what I anticipated. So I hope you have a great month, mid-month. Thank you so much for all of you that have been liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, and donating to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Hopefully we'll see each other soon.